All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I'm in the house with the Chavez 229 uh, Red and Sion here with me for a review. We're going to analyze the look, the sound, and the feel of this bad boy. But hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content right over here. So let's get started and check the size of this bad boy because overall length of this one is going to be 8.2 inches uh, with a 3.6 inch long overall blade, but the cutting edge is going to be like 3.4, something like in that ballpark, just a little bit less than 3.5 and the handle is going to be 4.6 uh, inches long so it's a yeah it's a, it's a big boy but for example check it out up against uh, the Ontario Rad number two and the Ontario Rad number one you can see that uh, this is a little bit bigger than that so well, after all you know it's not like a huge knife compared to that but check out the um, couple options from Benchmade you got the mini bug out here and the bug out up here which are both smaller, of course, than the uh, Chavez. And here you've got uh, the Spyderco Para 3. And up here you're going to see the Spyderco Para Military 2. And uh, you can actually see that uh, it's a little bit, yeah, I mean, kind of like the same size as the Spyderco, but completely different feel in the hand for sure. If you like uh, Chris Reeve knives, maybe you are familiar with the small Sebenza 21, or maybe you are familiar with the large Sebenza, this is the 31 and as you can see of course the small is bigger but the uh, large Sebenza it's bigger than this uh, uh, Chavez over here. Another couple options here you can check out from um, Custom Knife Factory this is the uh, 520 and this is the uh, Snafu 2.0 big boy over here and this guy is just a little bit smaller than that so right in between these two uh, Custom Knife uh, Factory options and um, let me show you Another couple options here. Uh, this is the uh, Koenig Knives Arius uh, uh, Style 55. Um, and uh, let me show you another beautiful frame lock, titanium. This is the uh, Singevich design in collaboration with Spyderco. That's the Kami Flipper. And um, let me show you a couple of uh, carbon fiber options. That's the Hinder Knives uh, uh, XM18. And this is the Shirogorov F3 and S uh, in a nice uh, bronze finish. And uh, what else can I show you guys? Um, let me show you a couple of custom uh, we've got uh, over here. This is the um, Kirby Lambert Rain uh, and another Canadian uh, beautiful one. This is the Peter Rassenti Large Nirvana 3.0 in a full dress, of course. So you get uh, the idea. This is uh, not a huge knife, but not even like a small one. It's a uh, it's a beast of a knife. It's a tank. This is uh, uh, designed by Ramon Chavez. Um, it, Ultramar means uh, that uh, uh, this guy has been made overseas and uh, because this is made in China. Um, so it's uh, it's the cheap version of the Chavez Customs, of course, um, and has the overall uh, look that's pretty loyal to the uh, custom. So if you are, let's say, on a budget, uh, you can get this one and experience uh, uh, Chavez knife uh, for sure. Check this out. This is a pretty beast of a knife. It's a nice uh, titanium frame lock. Uh, it's pretty unique. Uh, it's pretty recognizable in the, I mean, if you're in the, the, in the community, you know this is a Chavez. You saw this guy and probably you saw this uh, uh, pocket clip. Uh, it's pretty unique. Uh, titanium frame lock slabs are thick and strong and sturdy and they're gonna confer like a heft to the to the overall knife uh, which is gonna feel like built overbuilt like built like a tank for sure you've got some chamfering going on around the scales uh, you have just a little bit of chamfering going on on the inside of the scales. there's no uh, internal skeletonization as you can see that's gonna reflect a little bit on the weight we're gonna check it out in a second uh, it's mostly like two-dimensional because you see there's not like really much rounding off of the scale just like flat uh, slab but just nicely chamfered it's nicely designed it's a classic design uh, you can see that there's a beautiful finger groove over here with the uh, lock side uh, uh, sticking out a little bit so it's going to be easy to disengage uh, no issues whatsoever going on right there um, nice titanium backspacer beautifully uh, done absolutely flush it's it's perfectly done so no no issues whatsoever uh, going on you don't have any option for the um, lanyard hole and uh, i mean it's not a big deal for me 
Um, also, you have uh, absolutely centered blade. No way you're going to be able to snag the tip of the blade, so it's absolutely safe. And the overall look when closed, it's super it's super clean like look at these lines like one line and just squared off so nice and clean i like this blade like that and on the other side you're gonna check of course uh, and you're gonna notice the skull in the pocket clip um, uh, which is uh, titanium uh, of course with the stone wash finish matching the handle and uh, you're gonna notice also that the construction is pretty simple because this guy is gonna show like two screws which are sticking out curiously and they're not flush and also the pivot screw like see both are protruding a little bit not in an obnoxious way but uh, just keep that in mind uh, you're gonna need the t8 uh, torx bit screws to take this guy apart it's gonna be super easy, straightforward, no issues whatsoever when you're gonna to need to maintain this bad boy. Um, you have uh, also a very, very nice, uh, guys, would you, would you look at this blade? It's just gorgeous. Um, also you have, I wanted to say, a uh, stainless steel lock face insert uh, uh, screwed in from the outside. You have an outside, um, an external uh, cutout for the lock bar. And of course, like the um, stainless steel lock face insert is gonna act as a over travel stop bar. So a uh, really, really cool um, option over here. Of course, you have zero lock stick because you're gonna have steel on steel, not titanium on steel. So lock stick is just gone. Um, you uh, don't have any detent ball wrap, so you're gonna feel this uh, little hard step it's not a big deal uh, but it's just there and uh, um, yeah so I mean you have uh some pretty pretty cool options over here uh the the pocket clip it's pretty unique in the industry tip up carry only it's not reversible it's just gonna stay there not like deep carry maybe this much is gonna show from your pocket uh, nice clip retention there's a nice clip ramp so no no uh, issues going in and out of your pocket and it's gonna uh, be nice there's a nice retention so it's gonna be nicely and safely attached to your pocket so really really cool what is absolutely fantastic guys is the blade of course this is a menacing blade compound grind nice and complex uh, uh, stuff going on over here uh, we can start from the jimping which is very very aggressive um i just feel that there is like like a groove missing here i, I would have preferred maybe something aligned you know with the uh, with the uh, jimping going on on the handle so when you open the blade you you have like another groove like that because they are spaced equally. You see, like the the, the grooves are just, uh, you know, it may it would have made sense made sense like to have I can add a groove, but not a big deal. Uh, the jimping is absolutely functional. It's super grippy. There's some chamfering as you can see going on on the uh, on both sides, and then from here after the logo, you have some swedge going on. Uh, um which is gonna help you know to reduce the weight to add the penetrability of the blade but at the same time retaining uh the strength uh, because uh at this level here in the flats you have the full width of the blade uh, that's kept intact and from here then just you see it goes like now drops a little bit to create this beautiful drop point uh, and then you have uh, a steep belly probably like 25 20 percent belly with a flat grind and uh, nicely arched arched um like uh, this intersects like from the flats extends like here and then boom it goes down to basically at the end of the belly and intersects at the beginning of the flat uh, the plain and flat edge uh, straight edge sorry up to the um, sharpening joint which can actually act as a finger choil if you're not, I mean, if I use like my, my index like at this point, yeah, I'm gonna cut myself because this guy is sharp to the end of the, to the heel here. But if you use just your fingertip, you're gonna be pretty good to go and you're gonna gain a lot of precision in this work fantastic hollow grind uh, dual direct bi-directional satin finish uh, on the flat and vertical for the uh, primary bevel you've got a beautiful plunge grind which extends like to the flat like this up to this point and um, you can actually see that this is not a, a thin blade because the stock uh, thickness is thickness is going to be 0.159 and uh, if you check like uh, how thin this guy is behind the edge let me see right over here look at that 0 0.0 
1.5. So it's a it's a fantastic slicer for sure. You've got the Chavez logo over here and the M390 um, uh, logo, let's say, uh, writing over this side. Uh, of course, you've got two uh, thumb studs, uh, which are going to be used to deploy the blade like uh, with a thumb stud or like you can even do like a, a spider flick like oops like oops like i can't do it but like that you can do it for sure so uh, keep that in mind they have uh, also like a t8 torx bit screw to uh, take this uh, uh, apart so yeah it's a it's a nice option so not too much billboarding going on it's pretty clean there is like yes these two things i would have i always prefer like a more sterile looking blade but yeah that's just me from the sound department this guy is just like a home run because here this it's wow it's a beautiful sound when you close it it's nice nice and tinky nice and classy but when you open this bad boy yeah you're in business closing yeah discreet quiet when you open this woo -woo, super nice and quiet and boom this guy deploys like a boss it's the sound is menacing and you also can hear kind of like the whoosh of these bearings going on so super super nice sound uh, uh nice clack when you open oh it's it's just gorgeous 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 sound when you open this guy beautiful um the feel is really good then let's just quickly check uh, how much this guy is gonna be waiting in your pocket uh, um, because there's no internal skeletonization so that's gonna reflect into the weight because look at this yes 6.49 ounces so not a light boy whatsoever uh, it's a full uh, this is a full weight uh, so uh, full scales no skeletonization full backspacer look at the pocket clip i mean it, it's a, it's a it's a sturdy one but you can feel there's some weight uh, uh, to it but uh, when you hold it it's it's a joy to hold uh, something like this heavy because it's gonna confer like some sturdiness some uh, uh, reliability kind of feeling and you f you know that you can you're in business with this guy and uh, it's reliable it's something like uh, it feels absolutely sturdy so really really good and i really don't have any i don't feel any hot spots except for just a little bit this point over here like if i squeeze it like that this is digging a little bit like in this position it's not too crazy if i'm just doing like maybe a, a more advanced position like that so that this is sticking out zero problem if i'm doing maybe something more like precise kind of thing yeah this is digging a little bit in my flesh but nothing too crazy the jimping is absolutely functional super grippy it's not gonna go anywhere your finger is just gonna stay there uh, the texture is of course like slippery because this is just like a stone washed and pretty sleek uh, and smooth uh, finish so not too much grippiness on the uh, scales but fit and finish is just uh, stellar guys uh, uh, everything is aligned perfectly no gaps no mismatching nothing wrong going on no gap i mean everything is flush no rattling it's it's well put together 100 percent uh you also have a, um, a nice uh, clip uh, um, retention so it's, it's it's it feels pretty good it's strong but yeah feels good this guy of course is running on bearings and uh, the deployment of this bad boy is just something stellar it's fast like opens like a boss like that just gorgeously I mean, the action is just fantastic. Um, when you close the, when you disengage the lock bar, you have to be careful and, at, at, and actually angle the knife like that. But you see, the blade is just gonna hit your fingernail like that all the way. So you have to angle it like so, and then you can just put it in the vertical position. It doesn't have like any guillotine effect. You just have to wiggle a little bit and boom, it's gonna glide down, which is fantastic. It's a, it's a really, really cool action indeed. You have these uh, thumb studs, which are a little bit, I mean, not too sharp, uh, but uh, yeah, they, they are rounded off a little bit, but uh, still at the same time, they retain some grippiness that you can deploy it like this with like, uh, kind of like almost effortlessly. So fantastic job. Uh, Deaton's uh, strength is perfectly dialed in. This guy is super safe. You can't shake the blade open. It's not going to go anywhere. And Deaton's suction is just boom like that nice uh, magnetic effect going on so i mean overall this is a, a really really cool one uh, for sure 
it has a unique look. I understand that many people might not uh, like the the, um, the clip. They might consider it loud. I think it's uh, it's yeah it's it's borderline. Uh, sometimes yeah I want to be loud. Sometimes I want to be quiet. So for those occasions yeah who cares? But some other occasion you might require something a little bit classier. Um, but uh, I mean everything else just screams like quality and sturdiness. And this is like a, an overbuilt tank of a knife with a fantastic blade uh, grind. Uh, nice ergos. The sound is just amazing. The weight is a little bit up there. There's a little bit of hot spot here. So overall I think this is a pretty damn cool one. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.